Waukesha West High School. Mr. Miller here to talk to you once again about purchasing a yearbook. There are roughly 400 of you who have yet to purchase a yearbook. And I want to make sure that you understand your deadline to do so is April 15th. And I'm sure many of you are thinking, why bother purchasing a yearbook? Because, well, I've got Facebook accounts with my friends and Twitter accounts. And we chat with each other. We instant message each other. We text each other. Well, I think you're going to find that Purchasing a yearbook is probably one of the most important keepsake items of your high school life outside of your diploma, but I don't think I'm the only one that thinks that. Let's hear what other people have to say as well. Here I am with Mr. Grunsky. Not many of you know this, but actually Mr. Grunsky and I went to elementary well, school together, middle school together, high school together, and um, well, Mr. Grunsky, what do you got there? Hey. Well, I got our old uh, high school yearbook right here, Mr. Miller. Uh, it's kind of interesting because I remember Mr. Grunsky wanting as quickly as possible to get out of high school and start his own business and get out of his life. So it's just interesting. Mr. Grunsky, why, even though you wanted to get out of high school as quickly as possible, you still bought a yearbook. Why is that? Uh, well, you know what? It's got great memories in here and uh, friends and people that you grow up with. And then all of a sudden you look back 20 years later, 25 years later, and you're like, oh, wow, I wonder where that person is. Yep. Uh, Mr. Garski, I see you got your yearbook there. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time you've looked at that thing? It was actually just last week. Why is that? Uh, I ran into a girl I dated in high school. I wanted to check out how she looked back then compared to how she looked now. Of course, she's checking you out all the time because you're a male model, right? Uh, you know, yep, just on the weekends. <laughs> so uh, why'd you get a yearbook back in 1975? Well, I'll tell you. I only went to this high school for one year, Mr. Miller, and it was one of the best years of my life. And the pictures in this yearbook make memories and I go back often and laugh and especially at all of the silly styles back there in 1975 you'd laugh too. So what you're saying is even if you've gone to this school in one year you should buy a yearbook. Oh definitely most definitely because you will remember all of the fun times and all of the sad times and all of the everything in between it's an awesome awesome thing to have. Mr. Miller why, what's the single most reason you're happy that you have a yearbook from 1992? Uh, because I never keep track of any of these people and I barely remember who they are and it's nice to see what they said about me. Hey, uh, Mr. Wolf, what you got there? Oh, hey, uh, Mr. Miller, I was just kind of going through my whole yearbook here from uh, 1978. Um, man, I love this thing. It, I dug it up, it even smells old, it smells authentic. But well, why'd you get it in the first place? I mean, it, oh, that's a long time ago. Everybody did. You have to have a yearbook. I mean, these are, these are memories. This is this was like a time capsule. I didn't know it at the time. I got it just because everybody did, but boy, I enjoy going through this. My kids love looking through it. It's awesome. I'm I, looking back, and it's 25 years later, and you sure didn't have a lot of hair. <laughs> I, sure, I sure did. I, I had hair back then. Yep. And the really cool thing, too, is when I sit here and flip through here, Mr. Miller, yep. I find your picture. Yep. Um, I look here, and I can remember back when, when you were uh, short. Uh, oh, that, yeah, that's right. You had to go there. You still are. <laughs> Why do you still have a yearbook from Park Falls High School, way up north from 1987. Well, it's a very treasured memory for me. I like to go back sometimes, and especially when a class reunion rolls around, and look at pictures of the kids that I went to school with, or um, just look back at some of the memories and laugh and just go down memory lane a little bit. Why do you have a high school yearbook? You know, it's full of memories. So you're saying you bought a yearbook in high school because you wanted to keep your memories alive. I want to make sure I can look back to see what uh, activities I was in, clubs, sports, see all my friends, some of my teachers. So what you're saying is this that would be a great reason for students at West to buy a yearbook. Absolutely. Even though you have things like Facebook and Instagram, these memories are priceless. I noticed your football picture in there. It looks like the jersey's wearing you. You're not wearing the jersey. Hey, you, you filled out since, I see. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> A yeah, little tough guy right down here. Oops, never mind. That. That's that right. All the time. A little, little tough guy right there. Yeah, there he is. Yep, yep. So, um, you mentioned hairstyles. If there was one word to mention the hairstyle that is on your head in that picture, that one word would be bad. So, speaking of memories, uh, who was the guy that you were crushing on in that yearbook that you always uh, look up his picture? Well, at this time, I had a steady boyfriend. Yeah, you were still crushing on someone else though. Mr. Laborde? Yay, there he is. <laughs> and, uh, oh wow, that gal, I remember her, she was... Mr. Miller, when you look back at your senior picture, what do you think? How awesome my hair was. How awesome was it? 
Oh, well, it's feathered. <laughs> so there it goes right there and parted in the middle. How old do you look in that picture? I look like I'm eight. But look at that suit. Yeah, looking good. And uh, I also have like one other picture. Nope. There's Rob Greenwood. Rob. <laughs> What's Rob doing these days? Uh, Rob is actually a high uh, principal of elementary school in Clover, Wisconsin. Does he still have hair? Oh yes. Five years later, you sure didn't have a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> any uh, any friends of yours in there that you see now and like, man, I for, I did not realize you had that much hair back then. Five years later, you sure didn't have a lot of hair. <laughs> I, sure, I sure did. I I haven't had as much contact with my friends from my high school as I would as I would like. So that way you're you're happy that you have these memories. So that you way you got it. I opened this up. Andy Kyle, I remember that guy. He was a heck of a tailback. See, I was a fullback. He was a tailback. Brings back a ton of memories. Fantastic stuff. Buy a yearbook. Buy a yearbook. Go ahead and buy your yearbook today. Be sure to buy a yearbook by the 15th. Well, there you go. Those are some pretty good stories as to why you should buy your yearbook. In order to do so, it's very easy. Simply go to yearbookforever.com. Once again, yearbookforever.com and follow the online links to purchase your yearbook because there ultimately will be no guarantee that any yearbooks will be available when they arrive for those who haven't purchased a yearbook. So don't delay. Get yours today. Thanks a lot, Waxhaw West.